CBD Health Solutions channel. We have Sophie Bland and Superstar. Frank Arcadio. And tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Uh, well, of course. Um, let's see, I'm a recording artist right now in uh, Regional Mexicano, and I'm also a uh, composer. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, and I'm a big supporter of uh, the cannabis and CBD community. Of course. Of course, been. rocking that beautiful jersey. Yeah, I, it's amazing. I love the jersey. Oh, I, I got this this jersey from uh, well, my good friend Boo Boo, who is uh, one of the, the the trainers who trains the young athletes who are going to be soccer players for the Cholos in Tijuana. And I got a Liga MX Barca, which is like pretty cool. It's like an official thing. So it's like, and it's, I, I hope to get it signed official, soon. Guys. I hope to get it signed <laughs> soon. That's oh, he's I'm, he's amazing. Trust me. I've been there. I've been a few of his uh, little um, in the studio. I've been. I listen to his events. I listen to his uh, CDs. He's amazing, guys. I wish I could sing like that. No, oh, thank you, very right, babe? Yeah, I know. We. Um, I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. He's are. great. He's great. There's a lot of great things that are, are in the works, but I do want to let you guys know the reason why he is here is because we're working on a project. He is releasing his music. His new Ooh. album is coming up. Killer. Yeah, right? my new single's coming out. I'm, I'm releasing a new single. Um, the name's coming out soon. We just <laughs> we, we were just taking some photos for it today, and um, it's been a pretty uh, it's been a pretty long road. I've been recording since the beginning of the year and uh, working with some pretty interesting composers, some of the leading composers in Regional Mexicano. So it's been a very new experience for me because, I mean, uh, though I have been in the music industry before, I've never really been in the genre, so it's just, it's kind of scary. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> How long you been doing it for? I've been singing for like tw 12 years now. I started. No wonder, no wonder. I started when I was like 16. I got my, my first gig on uh, 107.1 Super Estrella in Univision when I was 16 years old. And I'm 28 now. Yeah, that's right. It's actually, a long time ago. Um, actually, there are family members, and uh, Sophie Bland has actually told me about his journey, his hustle. It's just, uh, you know, it motivates me. Just uh, hustlers motivate hustlers. You know, it's amazing. You know, if he went through what he went went through, I'm able to go through. You know, the same thing. We're all humans, mm -hmm. different industries, but it's just it's different. amazing, man. It's I bet it's so much harder than. You know, the mind is, you know, I bet, you know, I, I can't sink for shit. People will be running away, you know, so. <laughs> Don't even train. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is a train coming? I, know. <laughs> I, think, I think our industries are basically, the, like, I think they're the same. I think we both go through uh, our, our ups and downs in our industry, and there's a, a lot to it, and it takes a lot of time, and both of our industries take yeah. a lot of money also. That's so, so I mean, there's a lot of stuff that our industries have in common. So to be That's honest true. with you, I, I wouldn't say um, that it's that different. What is one thing you want to tell your audience, your fans around the globe that... Well, well, right now, especially, my fans in Mexico, I just want to... What do you want to tell them? Quiero agradecer a todos mis, mis seguidores en México porque los amo tanto. It's amazing. Siempre tengo oh, mi wow. banderita conmigo. <laughs> I always carry my Mexican flag <laughs> with me. So, so you're that really, is so cute. So you're really so I'm into Mexicano primeramente. So I'm very, I'm very proud of my flag. You I'm guys, very proud of my yeah. people, and uh, I carry this with with a lot of pride and honor. I'm a proud dual Sit citizen. Up a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Sit I'm up lazy, a little. and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have his links below, guys. You'll see. You'll see what we're talking yeah, about, right, yeah. man? At Frank Arcadio. <laughs> you, you guys find me. You guys will see a little Mexican flag on my uh, Instagram. I account. actually love that shirt. Right when he walked in, I was like, oh, nice seeing you again. You know, it's been a while. And I was like, wow, Orange County. I could rock that. You know, it's amazing. He, he ripped it. <laughs> he ripped a anything it. Anything you want to bring up? Oh, uh, yeah, I Just do. touch on and stuff. I know um, you did a, I know you just did a little um, of your projects recently beach looking a beach the product oh, yeah. you're starting to create more which is great um i love photography i've been doing photography for a couple of years i've always loved being in the camera being in front of the camera but i was very intrigued behind the camera lens um showcasing the visions that you have and capturing things that you have the eye for and then when you show it to others and you share it um it's pretty because it's pretty nice because everybody sees something different so with that being said i took a little pause on it but something in me is just telling me like 
yo, it's time, like time to create, time, yeah, to, time to just go, just go, you know, start creating your vision. So, um, we've been, um, Eric and I have been working a lot on CBD products, CBD, just pretty much like the, the, um, we're just implementing, the yeah, we're implementing we our lifestyle in, and yeah. it's, it's just amazing to see your page or your experience, you know, just come up, you know, little by little from pictures back then to now, okay. everything's improving. I just love the camera, I love that we can use our phones, like our phones, that's all we need yeah. to be honest with you guys, and so with that being said, we just worked <laughs> on a couple things. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> working on some hot stuff. Sorry, I, I just saw doing this. My the pictures issues. were amazing. Um, I know you worked with him for you you know times Project, before yes it's, it's yeah really she's been great. working with me on a lot of on both on all my last projects taking the photos yeah. for most of the album covers her or pierre yeah oh yeah yes, he's, he pierre actually does some pictures too he's amazing yeah. shout out to and pierre. then and then shout out to danny franklin who commissioned some incredible paintings that she just took oh, photos of yes, that are going guys. to be but stay and, tuned for and, that and it's crazy because he's he's legally blind and he like paints he finger paints this stuff and when you see these album covers you won't even believe no. When he, when I saw the art pieces and you showed it to me and you were taking it out and you were explaining to me the story behind this artist, I'm just like, how? Like, it's insane. You know what I mean? That it's goes insane. to show you that yes, we have eyes, but so our crazy. brain is like another yeah. form of when an he was eye. Telling me, you know, I was like, like, wow, he's, he's like I can't even me. make that. You know, like that. I'll he's try, to me but the Beethoven, the Beethoven of painting. Because yeah. how how do you paint? Mm -hmm. How do you? How can you paint and not see? But it's like, it doesn't really matter. You see does what it? you yeah. have in here. You yeah, know what he, you hear, what you feel. He visualizes incredibly. So it's just insane. It's insane. I, oh my god. So, so I just want to tell you guys something also that I w would like to let you guys know that we want to do more. Is talk about the struggle. Talk about the journey, the steps yeah. that take us to be there. Right when we think we're hitting a good step, it's like, oh no life brings you back down to step zero again but you just gotta keep going and all of us here individually have our own stories from yeah. you to you and me like we all individually have gone through so much bs so much hate torture what else i mean just, yeah, just depression that you have oh yeah depression. Anxiety. Anxiety. anxiety just Anger. you know doubts you're on your journey and then you have a Ooh. doubt and then you have a comment you're like damn or actually the competition, I know for me, for our industry, um, you see competition and then you're like, oh my God, yeah. look at his stuff. And we just have different stories. Don't, don't worry about them, just focus, you know? Yeah. We have, our different it, we have to stay focused in our lane and that's very important for everybody to really kind of come to realization mm -hmm. that we can't always believe everything that we see on social media, um, on TV, no. no. Do your own research, do what you need to do, but not every girl, every guy that looks freaking perfect, no hate or nothing towards it, but it's just like, we're not perfect. You know, we're people will say, well, we look like the perfect couple, like, nah. or you look like what? Oh my the God, perfect. people tell me all the time, your life looks so perfect, Frank, this and that. I was like, <laughs> how'd you become a singer? I was like, well, go, I live, know, right? go live on the streets, go get beat up, <laughs> go, go, go do all of this and that, deal with addictions and craziness, and then you sing really good. Yeah. It's, it, and work hard and no pay in the beginning. They don't pay you, they don't pay you, no, they don't no, pay you. They don't pay you. And famous people are the, no offense, I'm sorry to call you out, but famous people are the quick, quickest ones to never cut you a check. Sorry to say, Whoa. the quickest ones to not cut you a check, and they get away with it too. Real talk. Boom, baby. boom. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah. Anyway. So, what, what's <laughs> one thing that you want to show and tell our viewers eventually? Like, well, I will obviously, first thing uh, I want to tell them, we appreciate you guys. We're gonna be, you know, we're thankful for everyone. We seen our views everything go up and I just want to tell everyone and show everyone by videos yeah. that not only m my industry that I'm, I've been in fitness for a long time not only myself takes CBD daily but we have here a singer and stuff that you know he's in he's he's involved with the cannabis industry he, mm -hmm. he's actually buying CBD from us mm -hmm. and I, I bet he has to focus in his music and creating and stuff like that so you know, so all industries, you, you know, you just have to be healthy inside and out, mm -hmm. you know. 
taking CBD, taking your eating right, doing exercise, and just staying healthy. I love my CBD topicals. I love my CBD tinctures. I mean, they really help me a lot. And I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, without them, sometimes it's very hard to get through because it's something so you, we to can deal hear with. You. This is the <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like in the it's because the AC's on. <laughs> Uh, He's like, I'm old. <laughs> they, trust me, they'll It's because we have the AC on, guys. I mean, you're using your, you know, your mind so much, creating it's lyrics a very, it's and a very difficult, music. It's a very difficult process, and I'm just very thankful for just cannabis in general. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Me too. I cannot you know. picture it without yeah. no. No way. We, you know, <laughs> people like, get this bad picture about a big pothead smoking in the car and, or eating in the car or just in the couch no we, just, we, we're not like that I, we're I feel bad because proactive people don't understand like I deal with stomach problems stomach ulcers and you know um, inflammation problems with my intestinal tract it's very hard for me if I don't smoke sometime I can't even eat and I've lost a tremendous amount of weight because of my stomach problems so I'm so thankful for cannabis because if you could literally yeah. I wouldn't Finished smoking a little bit ago. We didn't make, we didn't, we didn't make it. We didn't make it to the channel. You know? Oh, oh, so. no, you're not talking loud enough. Now lower your voice. Esta, mira nada más. <laughs> no, no, I said why guys sir. No, you're not loud. No, we're good. I think. Okay, we're good. now, now we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Sorry, I have to. Uh, so, you know, we've just been showing everyone on our channel and our social media that you know we're yeah. we're it's a movement. Are you, it, at all ages use CBD or and cannabis. It's just a lifestyle, guys. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't I can't even drink alcohol. I'll drink like five or six times a year. I get like so messed up. I don't like cigarettes, I don't like any hard drugs, and I do not I don't like hard anything, especially uh, pills and stuff. No. Oh jeez. I don't like pills. Oh yeah. I can't even swallow a pill. When I had to get okay. my antibiotics, I had to have them in oh, the, yeah. the child's That's liquid true. form because I can't even swallow a pill. I'm such a baby. But like I'm like, please don't make me swallow a pill. I hate pills. Your I body, pills. your body knows. My my body's like, uh, uh, you don't need this. <laughs> They're like, no. Nope. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, Definitely. I was gonna ask you both something. Um, what is one thing you want to still? I know there's so much more that you want to accomplish, but what is something in the next three months you want to do? I look forward to the next three months seeing my music on the radio. Like for the first time, be it music I've written for other artists or music that's written for me okay. that, that I'm singing on, uh, like either or, be it music that's on the record label mm -hmm. that bought my music, shout out to Cutting Edge Music UK, and uh, being, uh, you know, the artist I just wrote for, stay tuned for that on my oh, yeah, Instagram, at Frank Arcadio. About. I'll talk more about that when it's out. I just, I want to play it safe. No, because okay. I wanted to go right. We, can we, I say that we I wrote a banger. A Dude, that we we wrote a banger. So I amazing. played a little sneak peek for him because it's they're family. I was like, listen to this. What do you think? And they, I kept telling him. The time you, is can, now. The time is now, right? Can you keep right? replaying it? Yeah. Can you play it again? Can you play it again? Yeah. And this my is, boyfriend's the type of person to just be like, okay, no, babe, like, nice. you heard it enough. No. We both yeah, love, like, this is it's a just, hit. Yeah, it's a hit. It's not even edited. So she's you know, she's going to cross over into Latin music so well, and I'm just so proud of her for what she's doing because so this is both of our times yes. in Latin music, but I'm so, I'm so happy to be able to help contribute mm -hmm. into other artists and helping them um, do their crossover, too, into Latin music. I, and you know what? Hey, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, whoever else out there, I'll write music for all of you. Come on. Oh, you will. Contact Frank Arcadio, please. 